residents are in fear there was another 3.9 magnitude earthquake that would come with a big roar a strange sound a frightening sound but not only that guys it's a massive massive earthquake swarm that is rumbling campi flegri right now and it's longer than anything i have seen since i have been watching campi flegri and the 3.9 that's high magnitude for that area so what is going on there is smoke coming out next to the roads in potsuli the Fumarolis have increased the sulfur levels that are being spit out there at the Solfatara crater that is the most active. That has increased. We will look into this. What is going on in Italy where there's more than 6 million people that are basically at the grace of this volcano? And this really looks like a little bit like what's going on in Santorini, these continuous earthquakes. This is crazy. And Studies show that the recent activity at Campi Flegri is definitely tied to the movement of an underground magma source and as well as the gases that are being released. And we have a statement from Mauro Di Vito, he's the director of the Vesuvian Observatory in Naples, that is part of the National Institute of Geophysics and Volcanology. And he has said, this dynamic could lead to a volcanic eruption, which is why Campi Flegri is so closely monitored. And that's why emergency plans have been drawing up last year, including emergency rehearsals. So they have a warning system in place, the volcanic data that are coming from the Vesuvius Observatory, from, from the INGV that is transmitted to the Civil Protection Department and to a government commission. It's called a Great Risk Commission via telephone and uh, in case there is a major event. And the problem is that Italy's Civil Protection Department then faces many, many daunting challenges. They're hoping with their new plan that with a 72 hour eruption warning to get 500,000 people out of the red zone of this eight mile wide stretching um, Campi Flegri caldera system. So 500,000 people to safety across a vast, heavily populated area. And then they also are planning to protect anything from artwork to zoo and farm animals. So it's, it's people that have been taken part in this evacuation rehearsal. It was only 1,500 people from Pozzoli. They think it's a waste of time. They have been driven out in buses and there's certain evacuation routes but the people said if that emergency evacuation happens and there's just one soccer game anywhere or something that would clog an evacuation route it's it's over and first you need to have 72 hours right there's a quote from a resident of Pozzuoli and it's interesting what she says about the recent activity she said well, Pozzuoli has always danced. It's been like this for centuries. Yeah, they're used to it. But then she said, but lately it's been dancing up a storm. And this tells you something. And another resident says, well, we live on top of this caldera and we're a bit anxious. And some volcanologists say that's dangerous. Others say it isn't. So she said, what do I know? I'm in the hands of God, but I'm if I'm able to save myself, it wouldn't be so bad. I have a lot of grandchildren. So the recent Brady seism, the volcanic activity, like thousands of earthquakes, um, along with a measurable land rise underneath Campi Flegri, um, that has picked up considerably in recent years. And that has really panicked some residents and has also put the authorities on high alert. While I'm editing this video, two high magnitude earthquakes occurred again in just a few seconds. Some say it's magnitude 3 and magnitude 3. Some are reporting 3.3 and 2.9. That needs to be determined, but you see the shocks here. This is absolutely crazy. So we will look into this. What is going on with this rapid escalation of this earthquake swarm at Campi Flegri right now? And in light of this, What's happening, this massive, massive swarm, I'll show you the epicenters and the earthquakes in a second. You know, there's other residents that took part in this evacuation drill where they think they have 72 hours. Um, one resident said, well, anyone who has ever watched a disaster film like 
real life tends to be less disciplined than a drill. Panic isn't rational. And that's what I also have said. I don't think this is going to work. Um, so people were calmly getting in and out of the buses during the drill, but residents that took part in this doubt that the buses would even make it to get to these points where they would get the people to evacuate. They will never arrive and we will perish like rats. That's what this resident said. It's it's a dire prediction, guys, but you know, if we are realistic and if we're really honest to ourselves, do we believe that should Campi Flegri erupt, that the people have enough time to successfully evacuate? Um, I, I, I'm i sorry that I have to say that. I don't want to create panic. My personal opinion is I don't think so. And scientists have said the magma that is underneath Campi Flegri is already in an explosive state and it's not as deep as they previously thought. So there's a magma chamber at a shallow depth of about 3.9 kilometers. The INGV has locked in the two earthquakes at 3.0, 3.0, and guess what just happened? Another 3.9, guys. This is crazy. While I'm making this video, they keep coming. Something's escalating right now at Campi Flegri. That is obvious because it's a continuous earthquake swarm, basically, that has started February 9th, but even before that. And now we also see a more increased number of earthquakes at Vesuvius. So from the year 23 to 24, the number of earthquakes at Vesuvius and Campi Flegri has basically doubled. So something is going on and there's always been, are they connected or are they not connected? What we also do know is that a team of the INGV has conducted a research that they already started in 2018 about these fumaroles and the gas emissions in the air, because it is quite scary. If you look at this picture, it's a road in Pozzoli and there's, this is not dust. This is volcanic gases coming out near the road. So since the end of 2018 already, they have noticed that the concentration of hydrogen sulfide, the that's the sulfur species that is present in these solfatara fumaroles, have recorded an increase and the significance has been investigated with the most modern um, analytical techniques. And what their findings are is that the observed variations in the composition of these fumaroles are not exclusively attributable to superficial hydrothermal processes. So just hot water, hot fluids. They say our study highlights that the sulfur anomaly that's recorded in the fumaroles is attributable to an increasing contribution from gas from the magma that feeds the volcanic system of the Flegrean fields, translated Campi Flegre, the burning fields. And that is supporting the theory that there is magma involved in the current Brady seismic crisis that is happening there right now. And this 3.9 magnitude earthquake that just happened, it's the strongest this year. And it's also a very, very strong one. We only had a stronger one last year in May, which was the strongest in over 40 years. And this 3.9 was also felt in the center of Naples. And I said, there's more than 6 million people involved in this. And many of them are stuck between Vesuvius and Campi Flegre. And look at this chart, how it shows us that 3.9. And it began... During this earthquake swarm, I mean, they say, oh, it's several earthquake swarms. One began during the night on the 16th, but really, we will look at the list. It's basically continuous. So they call this earthquake violent. This is how people felt it. It was in the afternoon this time, 3.30 p.m. So many people were still having their Sunday lunch, sitting around the table with family, and then the 3.9 according to the Vesuvius Observatory, that's the magnitude, was hitting them. And the epicenter was in the Campi Flegri area. It was clearly felt 
in central Naples and there was reports of swinging lamps and fallen furnishings. Um, this is the strongest shock in recent months. So let's have a list at what is going on there with the current swarm. And while I'm talking, guys, the, the, the earthquakes keep coming. So look at this. We just had a 1.0. So this is already February the 17th. It's after midnight local time in Italy. So 1.0, 1.0, 1.9. Then we have that 3.9 that happened while I was making this video. And then the 3.0, 3.0. And then continues another big one 2.7 to anything above two for for this volcanic activity here at Campi Flegre. this is what you need to understand that is large don't expect like six seven eight or something like this that's tectonic but with these volcanoes if magma's on the move that is significant and that tells us something so then it continues through the whole day on the 16th starting with this 3.9 that was frightening the residents but imagine at midnight when you know the other one was happening closely after midnight when people are in bed and they're sleeping i bet that a, a, there's hundreds and hundreds of reports that are already visible from what people are describing what was happening people are reporting guys i have to read this to you in pozzoli we seated on a couch felt intense rumble come up from the ground and it shook violently jumped up to get to safety my dog was shaking scared the cat was unaffected well cats they don't seem to care that much um another one i was working at the table and it started moving in circles the motion was in waves but circular circular ones that is strange the other one says very strong lateral movement was felt floor walls even the furniture made noise it really felt so strong it made me dizzy it lasted several seconds i was on the terrace of my building when it happened and everything moved so that is absolutely crazy and then Another bin Bacholi, strong shaking started like the rumble of a heavy truck. Then the house started to shake with increased intensity, culminating under 15 seconds. Another one in Bacholi, it was frightening. The entire house made a jump, strong vertical shaking as if the house was lifted from the ground and fell down again. That is really absolutely crazy, guys. And guys, they keep coming by the minute. I mean, look at the 1.0, th th 33 minutes after midnight, 32 minutes after midnight, 31 minutes after midnight, 20 minutes after midnight, 19 minutes after midnight. This is continuous. And that's when people are sleeping. This is absolutely scary. But what I want to show you here is that's the 17th already. But look at the 16th. That is, I even have to go to a new page it's so long this is all the 16th and then it goes into the 15th and the 14th and the 13th continuously every day the 13th the 12th 11th 10th and then i even have to take a new page from the 10th to the 9th then there's one day break on the 8th and then it's the 7th also Vesuvio is rumbling but guys this is absolutely insane since I am reporting about Campi Flegri I have never seen so many earthquakes above one in this list so basically what happened on the 16th was filling more than one page and usually it's only like three to four per day this was already called an earthquake swarm so we had several days on one page but now it's so intense guys this looks like something similar to what is happening in santorini which is crazy enough already and while i'm speaking probably they keep coming oh another one look at this 1.1 38 minutes after midnight they keep coming this is frightening guys because Campi Flegre we know what's underneath this is magma it's not like at Santorini that there's like fault lines and we know it's magma at Santorini now but they don't know where exactly they're they're not 100% sure um but this 
This is the magma that is underneath hydrothermal fluids. Is this something that we've seen in, in the 1980s? If it is, it's way more frightening because the caprock layer that keeps the lid on, that keeps the magma from coming to the surface, has only a third of its strength left that it had in the 1980s when a magma intrusion happened. Magma just didn't make it to the surface. And now it only has a, a third of this strength left. And we've had a continuous land rise, guys. This is absolutely frightening. I am very, very worried right now. And I think should they start their preliminary evacuation scenarios, at least for the red area around Campi Flegre, in my opinion, yes. And many scientists have already said month and a year ago, they should evacuate right now. And then just a few weeks ago, it said, well, at least the red zone, at least. But it's difficult. People, some people do not want to leave. So I will keep you updated about this, guys, but also check out, we just had another 4.4 in Santorini just right now, so I don't know where I should jump from volcano to volcano. It's absolutely crazy. Check out my updates about Santorini here in the end screen, guys. If you're new here, subscribe so that you can be on the pulse with me, on the pulse of the earth. What's going on, guys? It seems that it is insane. Even in my hometown in Munich, they had an earthquake today um, in the area around Munich. I think like three earthquakes, only in the 1.2 range of spot. I grew up there. I've lived there a long time. I've never felt anything like this. It's absolutely crazy. It's not related to what we're seeing here, but guys, stay tuned, stay safe, be prepared for eventualities like this if you live in areas that are prone to natural disasters. If you want to support my work and the channel, and right now my, my dog Apollo, they're on the couch behind me right now sleeping, go to my buymeacoffee.com slash silky website. The link is in the description of this video. And buy me a coffee or two and uh, follow me there for free or click the join button, become a member for a lot of behind the scenes stuff because I discovered just something that someone's doing something to my videos. So I'll release this in the member section. And yeah, check out the links in the description. Guys, I see you very, very soon. Bye-bye.